In this video, I'm going to solve the cubic equation x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4 is equals to 0. So we have uh, that cubic equation there. To find its uh, solutions, what I'll do is I'll try to find one solution by trial and error. So for trial and error, we'll be looking at uh, values of x, which are 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and so on. We try to substitute them into this equation and see if they satisfy that equation. So if you start with the first one, x equals to 0, we would be having 0 minus 5 times 0 plus 8 times 0 minus 4, which gives us a minus 4, of which is not satisfying that equation there because it should be giving us a 0. If we try x equals to 1, put x equals to 1 into this equation here, then we'll have 1 minus 5 times 1 plus 8 times 1 minus 4, of which uh, that gives us 1 minus 5 plus 8 minus 4, which gives us a 0. So we are having there the x minus 1 is a solution of that cubic equation. So we can write that x minus 1 is a factor of the polynomial which is on the left there. So the next step is to obtain the other factors using long division. So what we are having here, and that's our divisor. So I write the division sign there. And under that sign, I put in the dividend, which is uh, the polynomial x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4. So the next step is to look at uh, the highest power of uh, the divisor, that's an x, and the highest power of the dividend, that's an x cubed. So what we do is we divide that highest power x cubed by the highest power in the divisor here in x. So it will be x cubed divided by x, which gives us an x squared. So it will be part of the quotient, which we'll write on top there is x squared. Multiply this x minus 1 by the x squared and you get x cubed minus x squared. Subtract this from the expression above there. And what we'll have there is minus 4x squared plus 8x minus 4. Now looking at this expression that we are now having, the leading term there, the one with the highest power is minus 4x squared. We divide it by the x in the divisor there. So we having minus 4x squared divided by x, it gives us minus 4x. Then multiply the 4x by this x minus 1 and we get minus 4x squared plus 4x. Then subtract from above, then we get 4x minus 4. Now the leading term now there is a 4x, I divide it by the x there and you get a 4, so we write plus 4. Then multiply the 4 by the x minus 1 and we get 4x minus 4. Then subtract from above and we get a 0. So we are done with our division. So what we are having there is, this is the quotient. What it is saying there is when we multiply this x minus 1, by this quotient here, what you get is this expression here, the x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4. So what we'll be saying there is x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4 is equals to x minus 1 multiplied by x squared minus 4x plus 4. So this is what we are having now. But if we look at this part here, that's just a quadratic. So we can try to factor that so what we can do is we can look at the 4 here and look at its factors. Then when you look at its factors, we look at the product of those factors and then look at the sum. So what we are saying is we are looking for factors of 4, which when you multiply them, they give us a 4. But when we add them, they give us a sum of minus 4. So it's a minus 4. So our factors should both be negative because if they are both negative, that's when they give us a positive 4 for the product. So if you look at factors of 4 that are both negative, we can try minus 1 and minus 4. The product is a 4, but the sum there, minus 1 minus 4, gives us a minus 5. So it's uh, not what we are looking for. But if we try factors minus 2 and minus 2, the product there gives us a 4. The sum is minus 2 minus 2, which gives us a minus 4, which is what we are looking for there. So the factors that we would have for this highlighted part is x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2. So our expression there is x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2. 
So that's the expression that we are having. But in our equation, we are saying that the x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4 is equal to 0. So this expression here is equal to 0. So we have x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to 0. So for us to obtain a 0, that means uh, these parts on the left hand side are 0. So we'll be having x minus 1 equals to 0, x minus 2 equals to 0, or x minus 2 equals to 0, which will give us x is equals to 1, or x is equals to 2. The x equals to 2 is a repeated root, so it's x equals to 2 twice. So that's the solution there of the cubic x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 twice. It's a repeated root.